Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and right now we're gonna let the tarot answer what kind of boss are you? Do 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 do. Hey Sunny, I'm a bossy boss. All right, what? what, what, what these are the wrong cards. <laughs> Those. We're gonna let these ones answer. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do. What kind of boss are you? Here we go. So we shuffle the deck and we put it down right here. What kind of boss are you? Do 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 do. Everybody looking. Okay, here we go. Always cut the deck in three. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. Just letting you know that these videos are shot live here on my Breakfast with Sunny show every morning. And they're a lot of fun hanging out with the Sunny Siders. So if I get distracted or if I start to laugh, it's because the Sunny Siders in the chat are saying, What's up? And if you want to take part in the action live, then by all means, drop by the channel and say, What's up? Here we go. What kind of boss are you? <laughs> what kind of, okay here we go all you guys got to do is pick a card first card what kind of boss are you a lot of sunny siders are leaders in the community and so this is actually quite appropriate what kind of boss are you if you pick this one ooh, you're a lucky boss <laughs> no it's it means here I'll pull them back here so you can see them it means you're a boss that takes chances this is the wheel it means it's a card of Synchronicity it means being in the right place at the right time. Uh, it's a benevolent boss. It's a happy boss. When this card comes up, you're the type of boss who buys donuts for everybody all the time. You buy pizza on Friday for everybody. And you're the type of boss who takes chances. You'll take someone who, you know, who, you know, you'll take, you, you rely on your hunches. It's the card of, it's also the, it's the card of luck. Uh, it's kind of the card of gambling and winning. So, and, and good things just happening to you. So you might take a chance on an employee that you know they might not be ready for the job, but you're gonna take a chance on them anyways, and you're probably gonna succeed. You're a lucky boss. There's um, you know, you're luck. You're lucky. So you're lucky. You take chances, and you definitely win. Amanda says, "Is there a number four in the middle?" You would think, right? Here, I don't see a number four on this one. It's actually, this is not the number four. This is the glyph for Jupiter. See, Jupiter, that means Jupiter, and that means palm. Jupiter is spirituality and divination, uh, not divination, it's spirituality and it's expansion and it's luck. And this is the, the Hebrew symbol for palm which is like palm reading and divination. So although it looks like the number four, it's actually the glyph for Jupiter. It's expansive energy. It means you're a boss who's willing to take chances and you usually win. Your hunches pay off. Next, if you pick the second card, you're a control freak boss. Oh, you're the type of boss who tells everybody to go get, you're the type of boss, but it's not, it's not just control freaking. You do put the apple in front of the cart and you do give a lot of rewards for people and you trap people by their rewards but you're quite a demanding boss and you expect things you're the type of boss who's like hey here's 20 bucks go buy coffee for everybody here's 20 bucks go buy us some pizza for lunch you tell people what and you're like keep the change so everybody wants to hang out with you because of the rewards that you give them but you control people by giving them rewards it's Capricorn energy, it's very controlling, and it means trapped by your desires. So if you're the type of, so if this card comes up, you're the type of boss who tells people like, go do it, and this good stuff is gonna happen to you. Go do this. It does mean you can support them, but that's the action. <laughs> it's who's saying, yeah. This is, and definitely, this is definitely the card of Capricorn as well. It's Capricorn energy. So it means controlling. It also means progressive. It also means upwardly mobile. It also means focused on your goals. So you're the type of boss who gives a lot of rewards to other people and other people like working for you, but at the same time, you demand perfection, right? This is kind of a perfectionist kind of thing. And you're uh, highly motivated to achieving your goals. Highly motivated. It's actually the most motivated. <laughs> it's the most motivated to achieve your goals. And um, next. Do, 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 do. So this card, 
If you chose this one, or this one, this is a type of card that means you're a teacher. In this deck, the five card is Taurus energy, but it's referred to as faith. In other decks, it's the Hierophant or the Pope, and it means a teacher is coming. It's about learning lessons and book smarts. So if this is a situation, you're the type of boss who likes to mentor, um, who likes to mentor your employees. Uh, it's very. You're probably a calm boss. You're probably quiet. You probably know a lot. You've been around a long time, or you've studied a lot, and you're more than willing to help everyone else along by saying, "This is the way we do it. Everybody be cool. You know, keep moving along." And that's the action. We've all, we've all seen this action. We all know how to do it. It's together that it's a beautiful day. We're going to make this game happen. And that's what it means. It means you're a good, a good boss. You're a stable boss. You've been through it, and you like to mentor people. And finally, if you chose this one, you're an absolutely mental boss. This is Pluto energy. <laughs> this means you fire everybody. It's the last card in your story. It's the second last card in the Major Arcana, and it means Pluto energy. So you fire everybody who bugs you all the time. <laughs> it means you obsess over the little things. It means you don't care. It means you're not willing to put up with anything. You're very confident in getting everything to the end. But by a mo you can be a very hands-on kind of leader, very constantly checking on everyone, constantly obsessing over. It's not Virgo energy, but it does indicate that uh, you know, uh, constantly looking at the details, and you're quick to freak out. You're quick to freak out quick to blame other people. See, this card is all about making peace with your past. So if you're a boss, it's the type of boss who's not, you know, you're supposed to be forgiving everybody, but you're currently, you may not be forgiving. And your way of forgiving might be to like, just fire everybody. I forgive you. Go away. <laughs> the thing is, it's Pluto energy. So you remember, there are a couple of different stories that run through the cards at the same time. And each card has many different symbols on it that can be contradictory. This card in the story of Tarot is all about making peace with the past. So on one hand, you can say, okay, you're a forgiving kind of boss. But at the same time, it's also a situation where it's endings. This is Pluto energy. And remember, I'm an astrologer first. And uh, Pluto is the card, is the planet of endings. It's one of the planets of death. And it's, by, by, and it's definitely the planet of obsession. And so, you know, when someone... It's a type of situation where if someone comes to you, uh, Karen's saying, I had a number four boss, tough duty pleasing that guy. Yeah, it'd be tough. And it's a situation where if you walk to your boss with problems, he'll think that you should already know the answer. He's a tough guy to approach. And uh, But at the same time, it's Pluto, and Pluto is the planet of power. So it's you're a powerful boss who demands perfection from everyone around you. So... Once again, if you pick this one, you're a boss who likes to gamble and take chances. You know, you'll take chances on people who might not seem prepared, but it will work out. So it's pretty cool. Next, if you pick this one, you're the devil boss. It means you're control. You know, the devil is controlling, but it means you're an ambitious boss. You're an ambitious leader. You have a lot of rewards for people and people like you because of the rewards that uh, you give them. And they follow you, one, because it's the number one card of ambition. Then we have this one, which is a quiet boss who's been through everything before. He's stable and he looks at the, the long term and he goes, you know, step by step, let's get it going. And it's a mentoring boss. This card means a teacher is on the way. So it's a boss who likes to help his employees. And if finally, if you pull this one, you fire everybody and that's it. You're a, don't bug me, go do your thing, go do your thing. Go do. It's Pluto energy. You're a very powerful uh, corporate figure. And um, you don't take any nonsense from anyone. And that's the action. Woo! <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I like doing these. Anyways, from the sunny side, dot, dot, uh, for those who haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to take part in these little uh, tarot quizzes, I'm doing them I'm doing, every morning. We have a breakfast with Sunny show here on the channel where I read your horoscopes and we do some other fun stuff. And that's the action. From the sunny side, Dad, I'm sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful day. <laughs> and I'll see you guys soon.